Hi guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to the Glitter Bells YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing a cute strawberry design for you. Um, these are the colours that I'm using and I've already gone ahead with Ruby which is an unbelievable gel and I've just painted the pinky and the thumb a plain colour. So on the remainder of the nails I am using cover beige and I know it looks very weird me painting upside down but when I'm doing a French especially using builder gel I like to use less product as I want it as flat as possible for press-ons so I would just go ahead and paint it upside down so that the visible part of the French will be more visible and um, then the other part will be less visible because it will be covered by a colour so that is the reason why I do that. Um, I just go ahead with Ruby once again and painting my French. So this is one of the methods that I've shown you before of how to do a French nail. And I just go from each side curving, refining if I need to, and then filling in with my oval eight brush from Glitter Bells. Once I've done that, I've cured that for 60 seconds and then I just go in top coat as I'll just be leaving that as is. Then I'm going on a matte surface with the middle nail and I'm going in with Ruby and one of my nail art brushes from Glitter Bells and I'm just doing a nice sort of round shape and then tapering it at the bottom. So this will be the base of my strawberries and I will just scatter them across the nail um, and then wherever I see fit, refining them as I go along. So for this particular design, I wanted to just have a little bit of difference within the set. So that is why I've got the matte surface. I know that my unbelievable gels will cure with a no wipe top coat. So that is why I just decided to do the design as is, as I don't need to top coat over the unbelievable gels. Um, and then go in ahead with a very small dotting tool and sunny side up. And then I'm just creating the pips of the strawberries. Now I go ahead with this tiny detail brush from Glitter Bells and I'm just pulling them down ever so slightly just to create a little more of a pip seeded look um, as they're not just strictly dots. So I'm just pulling them down, just making them look more like pips basically. <laughs> 
Now I'm going in with Grasshopper and I'm just using that same brush that I was using before to do my strawberries. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a line over each top and then just flicking them out. And um, I just sort of went back to refine them afterwards, but I just wanted to base out where I wanted the strawberry. Um, and then I've just gone ahead and just refined them afterwards. I then go ahead and add a little stem at the top and making sure that I square it off ever so slightly and then flick it towards an angle and then it just looks like a very cute design and this is what I do throughout the nail. I will then go in with another small dotting tool, put some white dots around the nail and then I would flick them out to create a nice little star shape and it really tied it together. And that is the finished nail so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye bye